everybody, it's Felix with Ace One Productions. We are back with our one disc, one tip segment. Today we've got, oh boy, world champion, US champion, Grandmaster World Champion, <laughs> NADGT Tour Director. I'm, I could be here all day naming titles of what this man has done. Thank the you. legendary Dave Felberg. Thanks, Felix. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Thank you for taking the time to film this segment with us. Yeah. You're a wealth of knowledge and experience. How long have you been playing this sport? I've only been playing 25 years. Oh, just starting. Okay. But, you know, like some of the guys like Laval Wolf, 47 years, something like that, you know. But I've been playing 25 years, and I consider myself, I played since the beginning of what I call the modern age of this game. So with all that wealth and knowledge you've seen and thrown a lot of plastic out there, if you could pick one disc that's currently bagged in your bag now that can help anybody regardless of skill level, what disc would that be? Well, you know, yeah, playing for infinite discs these days, and uh, one of the ones they sent me was the Exodus. And it's a nice fairway driver. It kind of flies similar to a T-Bird TL. You know, and I thought that, you know, for most people, I like it because it feels that grippy stickness that you like in the old star plastic, and it's got a small rim. And I think if you're looking for the infinite disc, if you get the Exodus and the fairway driver, I think you could try the eye blend or you could try, you know, some of the other blends. But I think that just know that the eye blends and those are less stable. And as you move into the metal flake, they get more stable. Well, switching gears, you taking that knowledge again. If you could think of one tip that you think can make an impact in anybody's game, whether they're rec all the way up to pro level, what tip do you think that would be? Well, I would probably give two tips. Okay. Because you know, it's tough. If you're a beginner and you haven't played much, I would say stop buying new discs. Okay. That's my number one thing that I see traveling all over the world is people that buy new discs and they either don't like them or they end up not playing because they don't get the results they're looking for. And I think if you start with a used disc, it'll be a lot better for you. And the reason for that is that a used disc is going to tilt a little bit and then come back because it's broken in. And if you buy a disc that tilts right away, then it just tilts. And as soon as you get good enough, it's useless. And if you buy one that doesn't, then you can't fly. So you want to get something that was meant to go left, but it's really beat up so you can get that flight, but it'll finish and you can get your first S curves. And the other tip I would say is good for all players because as traveling around about 99% of the people that ask me to help them throw at the same time, which is, and I've said this in many tips before, but many of you that have you know, new to the game, is your head must maintain over the contact point. Now, whether you're hitting a ball, if you're hitting a ball and it's the tees here, your head stays here over the ball until the Gone, right? You're hitting a baseball. Head stays here until your shoulder brings it up, right? Disc golf's no different. So as, but your contact point's on the right because you're swinging your arm, not a club, right? So as you come in, if you hit it here, which is your contact point here, your head should stay there until the disc is gone and then it comes up. All right. And what I see about 99% of people doing that are learning to play disc golf is they've seen us and they think that we're doing it all at once because they're seeing it in real time. So they're trying to imitate it, but we're not. And I'm seeing that as soon as they move their arm, they use their disc and their head and they follow it, right? But that takes all the distance out of their game and a lot of the accuracy, because here's why. If you're turning your head right here, you move your shoulder, watch. So then my line's off. But if my head stays still, see how my shoulder stays there? I'm gonna throw it where I intend it. So I think that's the number one tip I can give anybody. Keep your head still over the contact point and you'll guarantee to hit your line. Seems funny at first not watching your disc, but that's why you play with your friends. They'll tell you what you threw. Brilliant, two tips, so you got a bonus tip this week. Thanks to Dave Felberg. And again, Dave, thank you for taking the time to film this segment with us. Two great tips, one great disc to check out. Exodus from Infinite. Absolutely. These guys want to follow along with you on your social media journey. Where can they follow you? Um, I have a social media page, the Dave Felberg Athlete page. But I like people to follow the NADGT.com page. We have NADGT on Facebook, NADGT on Instagram, NADGT.com. Follow the tour, join the next level. There you go, NADGT events having, happening all across this country. We're killing it, we're on fire. Absolutely, check them out. Thanks Smashbox and as always from Mason Productions. Let's get excited for some disc golf.